What's up my friends, Aloha and thanks for coming back to the channel. If you folks are new, please like the video, subscribe and if you have questions, comments or suggestions for anything you want to see in the future, drop it in the comments box or find me on Instagram and I'll do my very best to get back to you. So if you haven't noticed, the background's a little bit different, that's because I made the move. In the last video I posted a while back, I touched briefly on the fact that I was moving, my family was moving. So I'm back home, we made the move, but I don't have my content creating, filming area set up and I have a lot of my things are kind of all over the place, plus I'm just all over the place. So for the time being, my videos are gonna be like this. And I apologize for that, but if they're not like this, they're just not gonna get done because I'm like perfectionist and everything has to be perfect. But once I get my stuff set up, once I get my area set up, my filming, content stuff I'm gonna go back and shoot all the videos that are like this I'm gonna reshoot them and just polish them up make them a little bit better so you folks have some higher quality content but for the time being this is what we're all getting um, I've also already filmed this video like about half an hour ago but then my microphone wasn't plugged in so we're doing it again anyway jumping right in we're doing a video on the IWI TS-12, and yes, it's another TS-12 video. I know you folks are probably sick of it, but this is a subscriber question that was posed to me a while back asking how I do an ammo swap or a select slug, a slug select with the TS-12. And if there's any of you folks out there that don't know what it is, with those, there's lots of other terms for it, I probably, should, I don't even know. But what a ammo swap is, is it's swapping the ammo, okay, that you have in the chamber of your shotgun to something else that better, shoot, better suits the situation on the fly. So an example of that would be if you have your 870 loaded up with buckshot or whatever and then all of a sudden you gotta make a shot that's way far out of range for the buck, you're gonna kick the buckshot that's in the chamber out and then you're gonna throw a slug directly in the chamber so you can make that far shot. That's what an ammo swap is. And today I'm gonna show you folks how I do it on the TS-12. So truth be told, I'm not like a certified instructor, you know, tactical wizard or anything, and I'm not qualified to teach anything on the TS-12, I'm just some internet dude with a channel that has one, um, but I have a lot of range time with the TS-12. I put a lot of rounds in down range and I've been experimenting a lot, so I've come up with two ways, I didn't come up, but I've stumbled upon two ways to do an ammo swap with this guy, I'm gonna show them to you now. There's one way that's better than the other, but I'll show you folks both so you can make the decision for yourself. So before we start, we're gonna make sure that everything's clear and everything's safe. We don't have anything in our chamber. We'll have visually check our tubes, make sure everything's good. We're good to go. We're gonna be using my super bougie Jerry Michelek snap caps. If you don't know what the older dummy load, snap cap is a trademark name, but if you don't know what these are, they're inert rounds. They're used for practicing manipulations or malfunction, remedying, um, or getting your gun fixed when there's no ammo in the world, kind of like now. All right, so what we're gonna do before I jump into this, I'm gonna define a couple things for you folks to kind of help to keep us all in the same train as we do this kind of video. So the TS-12 has three tubes. If you haven't seen the review on this guy, go ahead and check it out. It's a bullpup shotgun with a capacity of 15 rounds of two and three quarter inch shells. Or 12 rounds of three inch shells, which is pretty ridiculous, but there's three tubes on this guy. So I define the tube that is feeding your chamber while you're firing as the active tube. When you have the active tube on the top, there's the inactive tube on the support side. That's the one that's on my support side. And then there's the inactive tube on my strong side. Okay, so those are just some words we're gonna be throwing around during this video. All right, so this guy is set up for right hand use. I'm gonna shoot it as a right handed person. And we're gonna take our buck. This is buck today. Okay, we're gonna load it onto the support side, into the inactive tube on the support side. We're gonna put three in here, okay? And the cool thing about the TS-12 is it's balanced really, really well, which allows you to hold it real easily with one hand, to shoot it with one hand. You can load it from both sides. That's real important, also really cool. But we got three rounds in our inactive tube on our support side. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my magazine release. I'm gonna rotate the tube and my bolt's locked back, but once the TS-12 cycles to a mag tube that's full, it's gonna automatically load that round into the chamber and that's always an awesome sound. Okay, so we've got buckshot in our active tube. We have a buckshot in the chamber, okay, right there. Buckshot in the chamber. My safe direction is all around me, okay, because I'm in the middle of nowhere. But we've got our buckshot in the active tube and we are clearing a house, okay, because that's what we do, we clear houses. And we're ripping it up and it's awesome, everything's good. We come out in the parking lot and there's a zombie, demon, alien, too far for the buckshot, so we need to get a slug in there. So what we're gonna do, 
So I'm gonna pull out the slug from my carrier, which I don't have because that's somewhere else right now. I'm gonna load it into the inactive tube on my support side. I'm gonna hit my magazine release, turn my magazine so it becomes my active tube, and then I'm gonna hit the carrier stop lever. That's what they call this guy on the instructions. But what it does is it drops the shell in your active tube onto your lifter so it's the next one to come up and go into the chamber. I'm gonna hit that with my support side. So I'm gonna reach back, I'm gonna hit it here. Okay, you can hear the shell drop, and I'm gonna forcefully cycle my action to kick that buck out and get that slug in. Just like that. So now I have a slug, and I should have colored this to make it better, but take my word for it, that's the one that we said is a slug. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that again. That was pretty fun. Okay, so we're here, we're cleaning our house, we come to our alien zombie. We're gonna come, load up our slug, rotate, hit this guy. Okay, we're good to go. We'll do it one more time, because that was fun. Okay, so we're here. Okay, clearing, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Okay, we're good to go. You might say, hey, Pakola, what if uh, what if your tubes are full? Then what, bro? The cool thing about the TS-12, it's got a button here, okay? And it is on both sides. You hit this button and you are unloading the tubes. So you can easily just pull this out, stick your slug in, and you're good to go. Okay, we'll do that again, because that was kind of fun. It's like three times, okay, so we're here. We're here, we're clearing the house. Okay, now we need a sluggerino in here. So we're boom, boom, boom. Okay, you can also reach back to hit this carrier stop with your firing hand. Um, I don't really like that because I feel that because the TS-12 is balanced so well, like I wouldn't want to sacrifice the need to, or the ability to just shoot on the fly. Okay, when you can reach back here. Again, so we can come here, load this guy up, hit this. Then with my firing hand, I can reach back, hit this guy. All right, we're good to go. So that's, that is um, method one, okay? Method two will simplify the process a little bit because we don't have to rotate any twos, we don't have to hit any carrier stop buttons. But um, to me, it's a, little, it's a little weird. But to you, you might be into it. But what you have to do is we're gonna have to switch our charging handle, which is easy enough for the TS-12. Okay, we're gonna switch it to our strong side. So we've got around a buck in here, okay? So what you're gonna do this time, you bring our firearm up and we're clearing the house. We got the zombie, alien, demon, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna reach up with my strong side. I'm gonna cycle this action back forcefully and then I'm gonna pin the firearm to my body using the charging handle. Okay, so I'm here, I'm gonna go like this, pin it to my body, reach in, grab the slug, feed it directly in the chamber. Okay, we're good to go. We'll do it one more time. Okay, so we're here, I got this stage because I don't have my stuff. So we're here like this, like this, just like that. Okay, one more time. Because even though I don't really like that, it's kind of fun. Okay, so we're here. So we're here like this. Okay, clearing, clearing, clearing. Rip. Okay, good to go. So, those are two ways to ammo swap. Select slug, slug select on the IWITS 12. Let me know what you think in the comments. If any of you folks are like real, actual, qualified, certified uh, operators of the TS-12 variant, please, please share your knowledge with the channel. Make us all better. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Yeah.